Hello. Hi. We should be live. We should be good to go. Wonderful. Welcome back to Tell Me Why, which is this very sad story game about these two twins. Pretty sure we'll get further into it. Um, right, we just left the cabin, our mother's house. Man, I can't believe Bron lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Ooh, we're on a time crunch Hun, now. This guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've hmm, kind of got go a lot way. going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Uh, it's really not the right time. Like you can't it's, rush it's this. It's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Probably, but we're not ready to, to do this. There's a lot of stories to go through, I feel. So, yeah. Welcome back. Um, yes, so... Yesterday, in the story at least, we first spent the good morning getting to the... the house, and we bought the house, we found all the trash that we don't want, and we found all the treasures that we were going to keep. Up of that, we sort of found out that our mother knew about um, our sister Ollie, who felt more like a brother, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm just walking a circle right now, trying to think. But yes, our sibling uh, was or is trans. Uh, what? I probably should be exploring. Anyway, um, and the story started with us having, or one of the siblings having killed the mother because they thought she didn't want the change. Whereas apparently she was all for the change, as we've later experienced or, and found out. Um, so now we're just trying to figure out what exactly happened. Something surely, like, tipped her off and got her extremely angry and, or scared, probably more. Um, we've also seen this shadowy figure. Yeah, this one. Um, which apparently is there in real life as well. Uh, which, a bit scary. He's called the Mad Hunter. I don't know who he is, I don't know what he is in real life, but yes. And we're also trying to, yeah, sell the house, um, which we're not going to do now apparently, because, well, it's not the right time. I don't know where our brother went, but let's just explore the wood. God, I'd love to be able to make something like this. That's a nice statue. Absolutely. I just saw another point up there. 
In a few weeks, way? you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall with nope. an ice pick. Ah, nice. It is getting colder. I see. Doesn't look like the best of rivers. Yeah, it's probably not too dirty. Why does it skip frames? Granted, there's only six frames missed and three skipped, but come on. It shouldn't be doing that. There's another one. Oh, but our brother's over there, so we might want to explore this first. Tom bet she is. Are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? The owner of the store that we were in. Um. He's also the husband to uh, our mother's best friend, who I, of course, have forgotten the name of. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Nice. Dee is a good friend. I don't think there's much more to see, sadly. Be alert for bears. Okay. Bear encounters are frequent. Do not feed the bears. Keep all food properly stowed. Stay alert. Never hike alone. Always carry pepper spray. In case of encounter, do not run. Stand your ground. Wave your arms. Talk loudly. And do not climb trees or poles. Because bears are actually quite good climbers. Either that or they have the patience to sit underneath you and wait. You will come down eventually. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Hmm. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? I don't know. You so, tell me. Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> That's the spirit. Sounds like a plan. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't so I come here to ruin your life, Allison. Try to keep them. Just want some answers. I know. Happy. That's why we're doing all this, right? They went mad at each other. I control I can control the camera. Interesting. Oh that's a shift. Space spacebar. Oh. Her We're just gonna looks pretty picturesque from here. Change conversation. You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Come on, Tyler, help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure how I could shut you out, even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. He's going through some rough stuff. Damn. Any interaction points I can? It's starting to snow. That's probably a bad sign. Hey, you feeling this? I imagine this is what we found you North Star. Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay. And don't cheat. 
I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. Hmm. I mean, both of them are kind of negative. I want to say, like, look like little freaks, but then again, like, this one is very sad. No one else could play with us. That's just, like, they've been isolated. So I think this one is the better one. Hopefully. Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Well, we were freaks, but that's why we were awesome. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. <laughs> maybe not. Okay. Now where are you going, buddy? I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. People come here from thousands of miles away to look at that glacier. And we get to see it from our deck. Hey. You should remember that sales pitch for when we have another buyer. Oh, it's not when, it's if we have another, but sure. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah, it was a week before they got the roads reopened. And Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island. It is. Way colder. Sort of. So I have a feeling that we will run into that grimy old guy that we met in the beginning on our way in. Um, that was of course. Hey, look what I found! At the start, so people might have forgotten him. Oh no! Hey. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. Can we see? Will you show us? There we go. Nice. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, 
Denise, Tyler. I believe this is the woman Wilson, we broke in. Could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll we be broke home. into? Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Hmm. Let's talk. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Happy to see Allison. Yeah, sure. It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> she's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. <coughs> Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Yeah, so I don't know what JCE, JCE is, but I don't. Well, I, I kind of need to know, don't I? Yeah. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. Wait. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, Wasn't kids. Rant? Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Oh. <laughs> yes. You got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. They talk to this guy too. Doctor Torres. Sure. Let's talk to all of them. Tyler the Ronan. Yes. Good to was. see you again. I'll need her You've information. gotten tall. Can you that usually her happens her? between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah. Uh, July 16th, well, uh, welcome home. Henderson. Different last name. It's been a while. Yes, yeah. Father. Thanks. Let's be happy. It's been a while. So, what brings Does you two around? Most of the time. No, her father has primary custody because of my hours. Uh, She's we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on, it's not that bad. So is there anything I can help you with? Okay, this one is a... I kind of want to, but like there's no way he's going to help. So let's just be polite. And Busy day around here? Afterwards. No, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was gonna rip that alarm right off the wall. All so right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6:13. Mm, good problem, chat. But your mailbox. I'll make it up to you. I promise. was dispatched to your home at 6:29 a.m. What, what have you been talking about? Um, I had to be in surgery at night. Huh. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital. Can we talk to you? No. Okay. In that case, let's ask about the fucking fire. Oh, anyway. where was I in this report? I'm a surgical resident ah, at one right. of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. You're busy. I get it. Sure, let's go upstairs. Yeah, let's get it over with. Well, listen, we really appreciate it. So, yeah, uh, last night we started an hey, argument. We don't need anything up there. Come on. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Ah. Tyler? There uh, he can is. you come here? Well, I am here. Why do I need to interact with you and from the morning, night? Chief Brown? Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? 
We had a few more questions about her mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. This is gonna be a fun one. Guys, for a treat. I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. Oh, I need to get back to this. That's bad to say. Sorry, we know guys. he didn't tell us everything. Here comes the shouting. Like, just allow me to fucking shout at him. Oh, I apologize I hate for the wait, Mrs. Stubborn Torres. Stubborn like that, Miss. So what Torres. now? <laughs> of course, Miss Torres. Just get Where the truth ourselves. Well, Fuck he's up. He's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. Okay. Uh, um, what are I we doing then? at Wait. five and got ready for work. He said it was fun. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. So we start the fire alarm then. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. I thought I was supposed to. Yes, I follow you. Then please walk. Be human. Alright. Let's see. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? I'm a bad actor, though. Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. What the fuck am I supposed to do? You can't just, like... I mean, I, I know what we're gonna do is, like, very... Very bad and everything, but, like... The nerves are already on. How the fuck am I supposed to pause the scene? Be advised while we hold. Uh, oh, sorry. We will be holding emergency evacuation exercises throughout the week every morning at 8:30 a.m. When the rules start, step away from your stations immediately. Leave all personal uh, pers personal belongings close, but do not lock all doors behind you. Evacuate the building in a quick and orderly manner through the nearest exit. Report to the de designated emergency assembly point and await instructions. So if we can start a fire, that sounds helpful. I uh, just don't know. That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. It's kind of messy, but I mean, sure. It doesn't feel like enough, you know, it's like, why would that, why would that do anything? And we, no, there's nothing here, okay, sure, fair enough, we will, the map, why the map, I can start drawing on it, no, okay. Oh, can I can I actually yeah thank you guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker but I could turn the lights off just go improvise you know what yeah sure turning off the lights let's let's do it let's see what happens oh oops 
Tyler. And no one fucking noticed? No one even heard the steps? What do you mean? Okay, and then... I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. Then you head now? Oh, shit. Uh... You need a smoke? Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. I'll try, don't worry. They don't seem important enough. Too, you know. Okay, yeah, there's a window. We probably don't wanna. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Okay, sure. Fair enough. Quick, I thought so. What's our excuse to getting back down? We we probably shouldn't stay too long in here, but how old is Brown? Thirty-eight. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. I have a feeling Eddie is our father, which is uh turning back now. Probably gonna be a plot first die on the road. I'm just saying it now, but it's fine. Oh, personnel files, department budgets. But zero Ooh, case hello. files. Huh. Hey, you. Why the dragon? Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. I don't even know why that's so aggressive, but I mean, sure. Examine his PC. Huh. Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. Do we want to know about this guy? Him, has though? a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. I mean, you can say no, but. Uh. Aw, look at you, Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? No. Gotta like. Think about everything here. Limit contact. Sandwich artist. Come on, you can't call yourself a sandwich artist. He might work. <laughs> Seriously, you're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information, and computers are basically information pinatas. <laughs> information pinatas. Okay. Um. Whoa, Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. R but there's a reference six, eight, six, five, R68653. Three. Okay, we need to look for that. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Yeah, fair enough. Nothing important there. Uh, nothing. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's got to be where our file is. Oh, you think? I have a feeling Tyler's one of the smart ones in his family. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, he's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the police. Okay, sure, fair enough. So it was R680. Fuck me. What's that? That's private. Okay, so is this the archive? Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? 
I spent hours playing next to this room. So I you remember something? All the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da di do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. I think that's the right order. No, no, no. Dum da dee do. Dum da dee do. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Dum. Okay, I think the six is dumb. Da D. Two? Gee, only twenty-four different possibilities. It's fine. Dum da be do. Yes. Aha! Look at that. We know music now. Oh boy. Where to begin? Is there an R section? I wonder if the R's for uh, Ronan looks or like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Interesting. Perfect. How has Room no one checked on, files on us? A half like... sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. The Police at the reception what? must. Why do I have to know be the one stuck with box how long duty? the smoke is, but you know, fine. Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R six eight six five three. Look it up. Look it up. She says. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. When do we start with R? Is there boxes up here. There's not boxes up there. Oh nine. You start with R seven? No. We want R six. Probably missed it already, but hey. Yeah, so okay, so the first is just the year. Which is not going to help much, I guess. R09, no. R43, not gonna work. Misc R six six. That's not good either. Oh, what the fuck you are? You are R six two, so that's not working either. R six three. R six eight. Right. Thank you. Here we go. Correct. I would think this is it. Turn it. We should probably have read it well, first, but so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. So, what are we looking for? Audio record tape three six three five nine, I guess. And 36360. Okay, fair enough. There are some leads to go for. Any other? 36585, I'm reading at the bottom. Nothing more. Okay. The hole. We open one. We only look at one of those. Okay, sure. I would personally have looked at at least two, but it's fine. I don't think we need to look at much else here. Um... Alright, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan? March 1st, 2005? Autopsy report. Isn't that like... how they died? Was 
set record. Wait to information. Yeah, but can I open them? References zero five R sixty one eight eighty nine R sixty one eight eighty nine R sixty one. So you there? I didn't even pick that up. That 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 was just a game flat out giving me that as a stop. Okay, fair enough. Um, on my side, Marianne. Sure. Board employees. Conan. Yes, that's the children, I guess. Article oh, with a shotgun. Nice. Mm-hmm. I found a summary of everything. Wow. This is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler. Into the garage to start loading a wrestler shortly after her child. Eleven years old, into the grass to display a new haircut given by sister, not the Ronan. According to witness, she saw the child's haircut, Marianne became enraged and threatened Ronan with shotgun. Uh, sure. Phone call. Not getting anything, like, too interesting though. Highly outdoors, and a road is a secluded road, mostly comprised of few rested cottages. No shots has been fired, that's good. I'm going to kill you! Yeah, I'm not I'm not really reading anything interesting, but sure. Oh boy. Okay, so the uh, top two report didn't really have anything. I would imagine that. Oh, ah, we have more here. Okay, but if I search for these two, then I can open this and then can go R62. Okay, so that's how it works. Uh, uh, already seen this one. Yeah, I know, I know. I am kind of interested, but I don't know how many we can, like, look up, though. Bingo. Incident report. Ooh, no, that's that's a fun one. Oh, I can't. I'm now forced to take this. Fuck off. I wanted to read all the different things. That okay. 2005, 2015, 46. Okay. I need to check out 2005, 201546. 2015. Okay, here it is. Okay, okay, here's one of the complaints. Shit, it's from Tessa. She said Marianne was shoplifting, and that she had us shoplifting too. I remember going in to get things for her, but she said she'd already paid for them. Tessa also accused her of child neglect. What the hell? Is there any more to that? No, but I'll keep digging. So... Yeah, Tessa, uh, Tessa, who is Marianne's best friend, or was at least, I guess, weren't good friends in the end? Due to shoplifting? That seems odd. Like, I know it went south at some point, right, but from Tessa's own perspective, shit. she just stopped showing up. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, stole him. Stole him. No shit, Sherlock. Tell him you need to talk in his office. Well, about what? Tess and Marianne? Already read that. Ooh. References 05 R68 MISC. R68. I am just trying to 
go through these sort of as quickly as we can because I would prefer not to be caught red handed. Was it 63? Nope. No? I have completely forgotten it then. I believe it started with 05, but I can't remember much more. that one it's saying misc huh. why is that here uh is there a top two report pressure on the head headache loss of conscious nausea dazed no so like tesovechi hereby release liability why was she looking for though like I'm I I I, I don't really know Pile service and Tazaveki you know Got something. ah here okay. uh one come okay I need to check out zero five zero one C O M E B R there so we're currently rummaging through police archive Jesus. files. Unbelievable. Ali, Tessa called fucking social services on us. And Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? Um, yeah, so now I can start getting a little nervous because we're not hearing anything from our sister. We literally just ask, where are you? And no fucking answer. So that's a bit bad. Child services, Roman children, no, Marianne, Tessa. Vinko. This uh, is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Ah, uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S. K Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Which one, though? Complaint or DUI? Yeah, but how does... This shouldn't help me, right? This is just... I don't think this helps, no. We do want to find something... Don't we? Can't take all of them. I mean, there's the top report that we haven't read, but... I really think that's... Dallas Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I think it helps uh, hello. Us again. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She... She fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. What am I looking where, for? Home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. Alright, honey, can you give me your address? <laughs> But like, the last thing they said was about Sam, right? No? I mean, I would imagine that there should be something here, but there's not. 
And then we can't really. References 2014 201 296. 214 214. But does that help? Like in what fucking world would it help? I want 2014, 2014, so that'd be this one, right? Okay, here it is. Thank you. But how does this help? Not helpful at all. That was sort of what I thought, right? Like, now I'm just wasting time. I don't know what I'm looking for. I need to get moving. Yeah, but... Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not going to repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Ooh. I said move it. H hey! <laughs> Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. Yeah, so we don't want to do this in public. I really feel like we should take it in private. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Were okay. I just stalling and waiting for this moment? Maybe. Yeah. You're right. We need to talk. What's going on? Quote unquote, tell me why. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. I mean, it makes sense she was struggling. She had limited work. So I imagine Tessa tried to save the children by calling um, child support or whatever it's called, I guess. Um, which really doesn't seem like the right move. But so, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century and you reported her to social services? Tessa came services. to me and reported potential child neglect. As a sworn officer, I am required by federal law to report the allegation to OCS. Yeah, it's sort of on Tessa. That snake, pretending to care, to be her friend, just to stab her in the back when she was down? Tessa helped out your family for years. I'm convinced her concern was real. Of course you would. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. You can't and say that after lied. like, yeah. That's I not the way to go. I you putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults, and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle.
I, there's no good answer here. We can't say that's bullshit, like... It's her father figure, you don't fuck with that. So I have to take the lesser aggressive one, I guess? Just... Just like that? Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. There was no good choice. Sorry, it's... Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father? Well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler. If you want it. That was a good response. I mean, it really isn't that easy. It'll take a lot of time. But I mean, give it a shot. If anything, if we start getting on his good side, he might open up and then we can like, find the next time he lies and I'm just absolutely fucking murder him. But it's gonna take some time before we're a big happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Good. Ooh, look at that. The ring comes on. Group hug? Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. We're not at that level yet, Eddie. Come on. Kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Them as wicked as it gets. Sure. See you both later. Eh, I don't want to talk to him. He'll probably just wave us away. It's fine. I do want to check if I can open this door though, because probably no one locked it. No? Oh, not bad. That'd be a fun way to leave, not go by the Well that went better than I was afraid it would. Do it down here. Can we answer her? Or can... Like, no? That one's at the receptionist desk. Interesting. What happened up there? Long story. Hey, you know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. Interesting. Don't think she wants to talk to me, though. I've pulled quite a scene. Let's just leave in peace. Could you follow, though? Is just standing up against the wall? Oh, she was storming Allison. out. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, what do you mean nothing? We're not nothing? gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh god. Oh, God. That's a tough memory to remember.
Why are we here? Do we really need to go through this? Where is everybody? Tess has gotta hiding. be around somewhere. They, they, they know our power. It's up. That's it. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at they... least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Let me finally take a picture of the fish, actually. I would want that. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. It's a small shop. It shouldn't be that difficult to just yell out, Tessa! I don't see her, so we'll just knock. Okay, nope. Not if Tom is there. Wait, is that the old... Oh. Hey, man, when the Lord opens that kind Yeah, of that's hey the old guys, guy from the boat. I hope boat. I'm not interrupting. Boy. Not at all. Oh, hey. Tyler, from the boat, right? Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Fishing? You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Why does it change size? Um. Yeah. Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Yeah, fair enough. I don't really care if Tom is busy. Okay. I'll interrupt Thanks. him anyway. Let's see what this guy has to talk about. Doing some shopping? Yep. Just the essentials. Well, don't let me stop you. So, I, I heard you were shooting moose outside your permit area. Not really any of your business now, is it? Come on. I'm not gonna report you. But it's a shitty thing to do. I think it's time to finish up your shopping and move on, brother. Yeah. I'll do that. Mm. We could use some of that at the house. Then grab it. I thought you were working at the diner today. No, mm -hmm. I switched just because I wanted to get some sleep. But it's, oh it's, man, I, I haven't had this cereal in forever. Today. Michael, Michael, how do you always end up double booked? Because I'm too much of a badass to read a schedule. You're going to work yourself to death, you know? Yeah, well, I can't really turn the money down. A security deposit is going to be a bitch. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna get my half together. Selling blood's a thing, right? You worried about the house? A little. And I had to turn down an appointment with the only interested buyer we've gotten. Well, girl, you're lucky I'm picking up the extra shifts then. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Let's, uh, let's talk to Tom. I don't really know what we'll get out of Tessa. I have no idea what we'll get out of Tom, but... You know. Nicole. Sorry, what sir. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Hello. Hello, Tyler. Hey. I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out not. for a family out. matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. I don't uh, bring Tom we were over it. at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. So, I kind of want to go with this one. I don't really, like, surely Tom knows, so yeah. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two, to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who that. called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. 
Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. <laughs> Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about yeah, when we were enough. in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, <laughs> you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Yeah, we kind of need truth to heal, though. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened. Which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting. So, don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Will you, though? Uh, so... Kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting Ooh, her parents. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. I don't imagine our mother's there. Don't have to visit her grave. Yeah. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Ooh, are we gonna have the bro talk about dating our sister? Fuck off. Um. Yeah, we're probably. Where'd that talk question this about our father come from? I'm just curious. I've sure. just been thinking about who he might be, and if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, hey, hey, Poster. So you're you first again. <laughs> thrilled with the plan. <laughs> yeah, surprise, like surprise. I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. Nice. Glad you said hi. Uh, you won't be alone, though. I know, but I'll be Absolute there too. Ah, food's nice. Yes. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. Post. Nice. So, some white bread, I imagine. Maybe not as white, but more, um, what would you call it? Like grainy bread? Not really good. Well, yeah. Um, with cheese. Some good cheese, maybe. Cheddar cheese. I don't know if that's good cheese for toast, but hey. Uh, some ham. Putting ham in it. Are you putting any vegetables in it? Maybe tomato, tomatoes. That's fruit. Um, 
cucumbers? Any other fillings? Or just plain toast bread with plain cheese and plain ham into some kind of heating contraption and then see what comes out. Alright. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just clowning. I'm I don't want to make... Yeah, I don't even enemies. know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. Alright. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. How oh, the fuck am I supposed to know? It was tomato, right? So, like, it. The back of the room. I count six up top and I count eight at the bottom. Hold on. Let me count this. What do you mean? That would be 14, right? Can't be, can't be more. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. If Man, we say 12. I'm so good at this. We that could was just. Easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. Yeah, where's that? How, how well do you know your storage and room? Where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Tessa puts the heavy stuff near the door on the bottom shelves. All right. I think I can work with that. I mean, that looks like bleach. So I would imagine that's that. Six? Six jugs? Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. God, I was just getting so good at, like, counting. Come on. I count to 14 and to six. I bet you haven't done that. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Oh, it's some... Oh <laughs> Is that boy. supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? There's room for improvement. Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man. I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? Cold, Tyler. Ice cold. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, uh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. <laughs> All so right, there were no anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? All right. Okay. You found the box of plushies? No, but I want to check with you. This entire room is full of boxes. It's going to take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Yeah, but I wanted to talk to him about stuff. Is that the mangy muskrat? Of course it is. Who is this? And some fella though. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah. Yep. I see it. Oh, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. I don't think there's oh, much else stories. to do. I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so. Eh, doesn't seem interesting. The, the fish, though, but I mean. Yeah, no, let's just count and then get out, I guess. Nice. That was what um, 
um, police officer Wilson talked about. Yeah. So. Okay, well, I count five at top and then six at the bottom, so 11. It can't be six. Can it be eight? Two, four, six. No, it can't be eight, so it must be 11. Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Oh, damn it. Fucking fight me. Come here, coward. <laughs> gotcha. Come on. No, you want to. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Fight me. Come on. <laughs> I won't even gotcha. allow you to hit me. Not even once. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Okay, so he's made... Yeah, he, he's made a few oh. comments on it. So I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. What do you mean? I've got two hits, you've got none. Come on. Why oh, are you just hiding there? Okay, thank you. You finally moved. Damn, overshot it. I mean, he must have, yeah, he's still there. But yeah, he, he's made comments on our look. Damn, he's overshot made... it. What do you mean over, fucking hit it then? Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool, no harm, no foul then. But yeah, he's made comments on our look, he drew us. Uh, Who's letting their guard down now? The priest was hot too, so he might be gay. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I thought that... I, I just got the connection between oh. him and Ellison, but yeah. <laughs> Man, you're That's good. fourth hit. We've won already. I told what you mean? not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, we'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Could be by. Yeah, true. Let's hit the true. bitch's grotto. Um, what? Hang on. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I just need to do that. Sorry. That's the name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right. Hey, cool. Tiberian, how are you doing? Let me see what you've done with day? the place. Oh boy. Shop shooter, nice. We could sit. Let's see what's in here. Any drinks? Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. No, we want to know about the marinade. Fuck his thoughtfulness. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World-renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Ah, oh, fuck off. Can, 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 can we take it? Like, excuse me? Look how he's written it on the box, even. Like... No person writes like that on a on a box. It it, it just it, it can't happen. Why can't we have it? Uh -huh. It's just set. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers. She didn't say anything. Man, hmm. it must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town will be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit.
Yeah, I think that's confirmed, sir. Lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me, because no one else will. Right. I feel you. We might as well explore this. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. Yeah, still figuring our shit out. I'm still figuring my shit out. I'm not sure if I'm made to be with anyone, you know? Yeah, of course. And don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything. Yeah, I don't. But advice. But thank you. I wanted to look at, like, that one, but I can't. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway. And no way. You like Duplex 202? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. What happened? And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show, and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor. Not our finest hour. Sounds like a good time. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> You're not too bad yourself. I try not to be, especially around guys I'm trying to impress. Ooh. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm, fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. You pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Okay, who uses the word swell? Come on, they're having a genuinely nice fucking moment. Who says swell here? Like, Michael over here is going, you might be one of a kind, and we just go, you're swell, mate. No one fucking does that. Like, I want to slap whoever wrote that. That's like... I don't want to say this because I don't want to hurt Michael and I think there is actually a genuine connection here, especially because they're both into fishing, so that could be fucking fun to do. But I just don't want to do it with fucking your swell, you know? But hey, Tiberian, you, uh, you never answered me. How are you doing? Having a good day? Or just having a day, you know, another Monday? I guess I'd go with your swell too. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell, too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. And here comes Allison. <clears throat> just, yeah. Oh, hey. I've been Ruining standing it. at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go.
D&D tomorrow, nice. Is that where you're playing that, um... Where you're playing the Shadow Monk are. or some other weird monk thing? Or were you playing with a guy who was playing monk? There was something along the lines of a monk somewhere within your D&D. Thanks for letting me hit you right over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. Oh, that sounds dark. I'm gonna go oh, check no. in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. Graveyard. You oh boy. Pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Oh, cemetery, yeah, sure. After. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? I don't, like, are we? Yeah, I would turn back to. A pearl too. of a runlet that never ceases. With a hollow, boiling voice it speaks. And has spoken since hills were turfless peaks. Where did you get that from? And no comment from Allison either? What's going on? I never wanted to come back here. Yeah, that makes two of us. Can't we just leave then? Just... If she takes that car, and I take this car, then we just leave everyone without cars. Where are you going? Did I? I don't fuck know. Asking me as if I know? Like, come on. You gotta have the better brain of the, us, of the two of us. Like, please. I just want to sit up on the bench over there. Or enjoy this very flat view. Or steal Tessa's car. You know, we've got options. Why were you standing still over there? What were you doing at the tree? Okay, so we're looking at a crooked tree. Or for a cro crooked tree at least. Um. Hey, so, graves are back that way. And? Why can't I take my time doing this? Why do I have so, to go? Did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Oh, we're just going exploring cemeteries now? It's an Emmanuel. I think we can't read. That one somehow has no snow on it. Like, absolutely none. And the rest of them are just plastered with snow everywhere. Uh, what memory can I see? Hello? Her mother made us come here ah. all the time. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. Are you crying? Anyway, okay, um... She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. Could the two of you be quiet? I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Thank you. So, like, that really, to me, sounds like someone very dear to her is dead here and she's saying hello to them. It could be our father. <clears throat> it could be Eddie's mother, which might confirm 
that there's been a relationship there and that Eddie is actually our father. A lot to unpack, I guess. Hello. Morning, those who have journeyed to the other side. <laughs> At Dud Ubu. Oh no. It's probably a, an actual thing, so I shouldn't make too much fun of it, but yeah. With the current um, jokes and memes going on about it. Yeah, I'm a, a bit of a bad URL, but yeah. I'm not too fan of cemeteries. Yo, could you not though? It's so quiet. There's no music. There's barely any wind. Best we can fucking hear is the ocean. And you sneeze like that? At least hold it in, for fuck's sake. Another grave with... Yeah, no snow. Granted, there are trees to try and cover it, but still. They might also be standing on actual graves. Why do they just have no snow on them? Like, e even this one. That one could have had snow, you know? But the frame is just without snow at all. That's... You can't remember which monk... Ah, you're a drunk one then. I see. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so... yes. Guess again. Robin Becker. May you rest in peace. New flowers over Look, here. There's Michael. What? Where? Hello? Can I just tell me to look somewhere and then just not force my camera to go there? No dice. Julie Simonson. Hmm. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. It was the pretty one with the flowers. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. It's time, you say? What does that mean? But first, I want to look at the tree. Wait, is this the one we called the Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branchy? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. <laughs> you really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So, so that would, yeah, that's Michael. I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave, but it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Is this lost in the chaos of history? What's that mean? Not sure, but Michael should know. Why? Like, we're not gonna talk to Michael. He, he's visiting his uncle, I believe. You're not going up to a guy who's, like, mourning a loss and then going, Yo, what's up? What's that rug about? Let's kick it open. Oh, okay. Is it close behind us? It does not. Remember okay. where she is? For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Fair enough. Um, 
I mean, if Michael is okay with it, can we pick the rooms? When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really Ooh. hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. You can't just... I just talk to him like that. Like you should just. So. Yeah, sure. How are you? Um. Holding up. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? Uh, probably. Let's get some good memories of so your what uncle. what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Yes, I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. <sighs> Can't wait to get home and try that famous marinade. So, what's the secret ingredient? Wouldn't you like to know, huh? Bird syrup. Uh, how could you? Twins before hose, Michael. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinket Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. Lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. So, how are you, um, holding up? Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. She's always been jealous because I got the looks. Yeah, but I got the brains, so. Oh man, you two are such a pair. Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Juna's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God. Boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister.
not sure if I should try to pronounce this. Man, I'm so rusty. How's it going? Talk to you later. You bet. This time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. You killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back soon. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. All right? Promise. But I'm gonna come see you every... But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm... I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back...
but I'm gonna come see you every week. I'll be back soon, all right? And we'll talk with our voice every day. We'll see each other soon then. Stop crying, silly. We have to go, kids. God, I could have sworn it went the other way. I'm so sorry. I, I should have staged a hunger strike until Eddie agreed to drive me. Hey, water under the bridge. before we go. No, I want to see your grave before we go. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? on. Our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! 
until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry. So the kids. turn is Sam might be our father, which is why he's taking care of the shed and everything. Uh, I mean, we don't want to redeem her. We don't want to ruin her. So we might as well just go for the third option. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her, but there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. What was that supposed to mean? I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Yeah, I need I need some guidance Are you here. Really ready to forgive her? I think she regrets what she did. But I, I totally understand if you don't want to see her anymore. That's your call. I thought you couldn't stand her. What happened? She did the only thing she thought she could. I I can relate to that. Yeah, sure, let's let's accept her. Fuck her. She owns, a, she owns a store. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. We can't do lunch, there gonna though. There's going to be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow, then. We'll be we there. We already have a lunch date. We can't just do it with Tessa. Come on. Can we please brush off, like, the top of the... No? Okay. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much How far given back up can on we go? But I guess sometimes people change. I know. Like Can we skip a rock? No? Ah, she needed to hear it. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? Hmm. Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. But we can walk all the way back. I don't know why our sister's just like standing there watching us walk away, but you know. Where are you going? Oh, we can only walk here. Okay, I see. Where am I going? I don't know. Exploring. Making some new trails. You know. Fancy stuff.
It is very peaceful though. Like, I bet it's fucking cold, but it looks very peaceful. Until the bear attacks. Uh, and all the other wild animals. Bears are probably one of the worst ones. Just stops up and turns around. There's there's not much there, but fair enough. So you wanna sit down for a bit? Absolutely. Can I sit before you? No? Okay, I have to wait for you. Then we go. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put Not cemeteries bad. in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Ah, uh, stop putting yourself down like that. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree, and your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy, but we always pull through, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? No. Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. It's just something that doesn't fit. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she we reached the end of the rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up, but killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. There is right? something missing. Come on, mention Sam. Just like, do a little, we gotta talk to Sam. You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. And where's the, the Mad Hunter? Like, we've seen that creepy, dark, shadowy figure walking. It's probably always gonna feel that way. In real life? Surely we haven't seen the last of that? Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. What the? Oh, shit. <laughs> Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. That's not a fire, though. Surely not. Ooh. 
That didn't look like Sam, because, well, Sam is a bit bigger build, I think. Tyler, are you alright? Is it a real fire? Uh, it barn. Stay there. I got it. Who would set the barn on fire? Who knows something? Is this why we couldn't lift the top from, like, whatever was very big within the barn? No, so the right side is still as... Yeah. There, there was... A, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight in. And he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. At least you were spared. I don't know how I keep finding these, but I must have missed some. Asshole even dumped the drawers. So what was she looking for? I might for? have found something. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. Uh, no worries, I'm gonna need to, to remove no a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. It's, where could uh... we possibly find a tool to do that? <laughs> no, you haven't failed. It's fine. I just, uh... It, it's a bit annoying, at least in this These game, to tap out Christ. mainly because... That corner used to be all uh, I need these guys to stop talking, but... Always saying how she was it's mainly annoying to tap out because, like, the music and everything just stops. It's... Yeah, but it's it's no big deal. Don't worry. What was in your toast, though? I made, like, a whole fucking speech about trying to guess what was in your toast. And... You just sort of left me hanging. I mean, that hurt me personally. Very, but like, know how he very much. Hole. Can we just break it up? Take our time. Step back. I'll be fine. Why throw it away after like? No, you, you should just tear up the entire fucking board, it's broken. Ah, you had to be social. Yeah, fair enough. That's well, a very mysterious box. I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. But yeah, That's what was okay. in your toast? Like, was it just flat white bread, or were we looking more... What's that there? More grainy Some bread? Kind of carving. Okay. I'm not sure what it is, though. So, we have an eye, so Wait, this? look. It's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Wait, what? We're looking for Three numbers? Digits. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Wait, look. It's the same symbol. Oh my god. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. This was awesome. Grainy white bread, nice. With salami and cheese, cucumber, potato salad. Nice. Interesting, but good. Yeah, nice. Okay, we need to find some numbers. I have no idea how to read numbers. Um, there's ones, so it could be one. Crafty goblins have two goblins, so it could be one, two. Secret keeper is another, so it could be one, two, one. Um... Animals, there's at least two animals. I chose the uneven trail. So something with the uneven, uneven, I guess. Um, two eyes. Goblins couldn't hear. The gift of the voice after a few minutes. I don't know what few is, but you know. Um... And for a coin, there's only one coin. Ooh. Two goblins. Could there at least be any, like, music while I do this? I don't just sit in my own fucking wind here. I want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? Goblins produce a silver-handled... It, there is way too much reading, but I mean, 
Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I don't know. Maybe if we just didn't read, then the game would like be, oh, the answer might be five. Like a silver handled hairbrush that's stolen from the pin princess. Keep, keep it nodded. First of the goblin said, I want to know more. I'm in a high spirit. But like, I just... Why doesn't it simply outline the numbers for me? Why doesn't it read the story for me? Okay. Told my secrets. Give them back. Got the goblin stop crying because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange? I'll give you back the silver handled hairbrush. There are so many secrets. I'll have to offer more than that. What if I shared the gift of voice? That'll do, sure. Shared the gift of voice immediately. Found out. Here's other thoughts. So this is okay, but how is this relevant? It's blank. I'm not getting any numbers of this. I'm sorry, but we're reading this wrong story. It can't be this one. Surely fucking not. Are there any numbers on the page itself? On the fucking page! There's a one there. There's a three there. There's an O there and the story ends. Or oh, for fuck's sake. That did it. I mean, I should maybe look for that first, but since the other riddles were like, read the book, then maybe this one too. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, need to see you again. Who is it written by though? I was taking my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. Simple PS, I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Oh, that's... Oh, no thanks. Fuck. That's rough. Sorry in this situation. I, I feel you've this, made great mom. This guy tried to push Mary Ann to get an abortion. Right Even now, she wanted to keep us. I have to be sure not to ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you, of course. People hear and talk. Uh, people here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you. Just let me know how much you need. So this is presumably from our father, meaning the guy who... But like... Sam, Sam built this, hell? though. So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box no. full of letters from our deadbeat dad. And a decade later, some guy comes along, trashes the barn, and tries to destroy the box. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. I mean... Sam built the barn, so it really feels weird not to... Did he really have to smash everything? Absolutely. He went looking under the rug? Why not? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. But fuck off. Yeah, so... What are we remembering now? Where are you going? Allison! Oh. Seeing this. I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. So we're now watching a murder again? Okay, right. nice. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? I mean, I'm still 
sort of obsessed with it, it might be Eddie, actually, but just have... What are you doing here? The Mad Hunter! Ooh, hello. Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? No, it was just... I, s I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Damn, he ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. On a mission of where? What do you mean? Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah. That must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. Hmm. Okay. What are we seeing or going to... What way? Game, guide me, please. I want to follow the story, but... No, 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 I... Game! It didn't point me in any good direction. I'm sorry. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock. About us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Okay, that one is just a dick move. Like... No, we we only ask for one more time. Just one Fine. more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the He's truth? He's dead, though. Huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Oh. What? What? How? How? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did write earlier to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. I'll do it. Let's go. That's a bit creepy. Someone or something or whatever is happening can now use what we previously said. Oh, I'm struggling here. us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll, I'll try. But like, okay, so what do I do? You walk over here. I don't, like, 
yeah this this looks correct but we just need to just just keep on like it's tough it is think back you got it almost there come on now I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But oh, you she's were so getting damn close. Lightheaded. Is she? Please don't pass out on us now, though. Like, we need this. Now she's even standing in the spot where she killed her mother, so, like, now it's even more... She's probably gonna remember that and just freak the fuck out. I'm sorry. But I'm done. Yeah, fair enough. You That's gave it. it a try. You're just giving up, oh, just like that. Fuck off. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go. Please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only gonna get worse. You know, was that him or was that not him? So yeah, presumably our father's here somewhere. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison! I'm going to kill if that's you. where the voice is from. No, no, no. I'm going to kill you. Was that why Allison stopped? Because she knew she would hear the I'm going to kill you again, which is probably something she's confused with the other side. Interesting. This is also a good stopping point, so we'll just run through the stats and everything, and then that'll be the end for this stream, and then we will start chapter three of next Thursday. Aha. So, yeah. One of the things that triggered Allison back when they were kids were she remembered her mother's voice saying, I'm going to kill you. But that might have been a voice from the scene we just saw here, meaning she actually never said that while standing on the pier with a shotgun looking at her son or daughter at the time i guess and of course if you start realizing that then you'll start blaming yourself for the death even more because that's literally just you going insane over that one sentence so i can see why she would not want to revisit that memory even if tyler really wanted to um yeah very interesting story we do need to figure out who our dad is 
Um, I have been speculating, speculating that it's either Eddie or Sam, but it it feels wrong if it's Sam. Because, first of all, he would have gotten the box at a more convenient time. Like, he could have removed that box at any time. He took care of the barn and the house while the kids were out, basically. So, there's no reason it would be him. Also, he built the barn, so, yeah. Um, could it be Eddie? I mean, I kind of think so. But only because... Alison, every time that she talks to him, goes, Okay, uncle, and like really emphasizes the uncle. So, that just tips me off, I guess. It, it, it feels wrong. Other than that, it could be a complete stranger. Um, it probably is. Yeah. We can continue. Yes. So most actually picked Tyler's memory of what Tyler felt Alison discarded his feelings. Oh yeah, we we're way back when. Uh, that was when when cleaning. Yeah. Uh, I just felt Alison's memory felt felt the best. Refusing the appointment. Uh, yes. I'm very happy to see that most people refused that appointment. Uh, that's about selling our house. Um, it's probably the only offer we'll get, but eh, it is what it is. Most people forgave Eddie. Uh, I think that's a good choice. While Eddie has made some bad choices, he's willing to suck up to it. So yeah, sure. Eddie was touched. That's good. We, oh, most people also accepted Michael's compliment. Nice. Yeah, I really didn't want to, like, turn him down. It's, it just, it didn't feel right. And most people forgave Tessa. Okay. It's, it's, like, funny because it's, like, four, four-fifths. Four-fifths. And, yeah, four-fifths, basically. The one in five people would not forgive Tessa. Then you can ask, is that the same one in five people that would also turn down Michael? Maybe. I can't remember if it just keeps going here. It does. So, go to the main menu. Yes. I'm hoping that that cutscene plays again next time, because we're not going to dwell into that. We're leaving it here. It's not really a cliffhanger, because like that was literally the end of chapter two, so you can't fault me for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. Um, I'll be back. Uh, sorry, I'll be back again Tuesday and Thursday next week, hopefully, unless something happens. Um, yeah. See you later, Poster. Thank you for for hanging out. And with that, I need to tap out because yay. Have a good one.